How does living in space differ from living here on Earth? I'm here at the Johnson Space Center in Houston to find out. Hey, Tom. Hey, Ross. Good to see you. So you actually lived on the International Space Station. That's right. I came up here actually to visit in 2009 on a construction mission on the space shuttle. On a separate mission a few years later, came up on a Russian rocket to live on board here for about uh, half a year. So and do two research. missions. Two and... missions, that's wow. right. So this is the Node 1. That's what we call it, but it's the uh, the kitchen in the gallery. Wow, I'm, I feel like I'm in space right now. Yeah, this you're in cool. the... Got the grab bars. The dining room of the space station. Yeah, so got tons of room here. Obviously, you're not just standing in space. We're floating. Floating around. We've got tons of room in here. Uh, as you can see, we got handrails up above, below. It doesn't matter whether it's the floor or the ceiling. Uh, this is the food pantry. The packets you saw, this is where we store them on the what we call the uh, starboard port sides. Okay. And so you can just grab your food packet out of here. Got a galley we can prepare the food, and yeah, we have condiments that we can use in space. You actually as well. have condiments in space? We do. And wouldn't it just float around when the condiments just float? It would, but as it turns out, you can put Velcro on just about anything. Just stick it to the table. <laughs> just as use Velcro. Stands on the wall, on the ceiling, whatever you want to do. Squirt it out, and the liquid has, it usually just has enough viscosity, enough uh, surface tension to where it'll just stick to whatever the food is and chow down. Wow. It's really great. So yeah. we can see more? Yeah, let's keep going. All right. So right now we're walking through the U.S. laboratory. It's where all of the experimental equipment ends on okay. the ceiling, the floor, the walls. Keep in mind, uh, here on the ground, we have this exploded view of the space station so people can get into the modules. But these are normally be connected. Exactly, yeah, yeah. These are together. So yeah. we'd be flying flying, through. flying like Superman, Superwoman, straight through the hatch and into node two, but uh, important room because this is the bedroom. So this is a bed right here? Exactly right, yeah. It looks kind of small, but it's perfect in space. Remember, you're in zero G, so you can use all the space in there. The ceiling, you can float all around in there. So you're literally just floating in there, sleeping. Right, right. We do have a sleeping bag, but that's just to keep us from bouncing against the walls. It's um, not for warmth or anything. The sleeping <laughs> bag does have these slits in the side, so you can stick your arms out and float like this when you're asleep, or you can get all snuggled up inside the sleeping bag, whichever you want to do. Sleep is awesome. Uh, nobody gets a crick in their neck in space because your head's yeah, and everything's just floating, yeah. So bed here, uh, yeah. I guess you call it a bed, a bed here. Right, right, exactly. So what we've got is ceiling, floor, and uh, another wall. There's a, a bed in each one. Keep in mind, those are just names of places when you're in zero G. You close the door and you couldn't tell that you're in any different place. You're floating in your bedroom. So there's four here. There's four right and here. And they're right yep. around us. Yep, exactly. Wow. Exactly. Crazy.